the simplicity of the CEREC program. One thing you'll notice when you're just looking through the program is how few buttons there are to push. The Serona engineers have done an incredible job of breaking it down to just what you need to know, just what you need to do, because, well, quite frankly, dentistry can be very difficult. And when you're in the heat of the moment right there to get it all done, the last thing you need to be seeing is a bunch of different file types and icons and everything. And so it makes it a lot more simple. When you initially open CERC, you're just going to see a few things. At the top is what's called the phase bar. These are different phases through the software. There's only one that you can choose from. All the rest of them are grayed out. And the reason why they're grayed out is because we haven't completed the tasks for that one particular phase. When you go down to the bottom where that task bar is for this particular phase in the administration uh, phase in this example, we have a few things that we need to do. The next phase is the acquisition phase. The camera is already hot, it's ready to go, it's ready to take pictures. Now, depending what mode you selected, you're gonna fill in some different libraries or catalogs down at the bottom. But the next phase of CEREC is the model phase. This is where CEREC calculates the models and then you're gonna do something to them. Basically, you're gonna draw your margins and cut the dies if you need. The next phase is the design phase. This is the fun part. This is where you get to design that restoration. This is where you have control over your embrasure shapes, interproximal contacts, occlusion, all of those things. This is basically the video game part of it. There's a tool button. So when you click on this, all of the different options for manipulating the design are present. Another button is called display objects. This is basically how you tell CEREC how I wanna look at this. Do you wanna look at the models trimmed? Then you click trim models. Do you wanna look at the upper model articulated with the lower model or a preoperative model? Uh, do you want to make a model translucent or do you want to make the restoration translucent? Do you want to see the minimal thickness, which is a little cloud, it's a little protective zone so we know we have enough occlusal reduction? But basically, what do you want to display? The next button down is called Analyzing Tools. This gives us a lot of options to analyze the situation. Our interproximal contact and occlusal uh, contact intensities, there is a distance tool which can measure the, uh, from one cusp tip to another cusp tip. That's it with the design phase. So the next phase is the mill phase. Once you're set with the design, you just click next and you get over to the mill phase and CEREC tells you what block to use. If you need to use a different block, you select it and then you just hit mill and you're off and running. <laughs>